Chad, did you feel like you had your best stuff today? No. I think it's just one of those days where I didn't really have much out there, so I was just trying to compete um, and just think of my way. Did it have anything to do with throwing the two innings two days ago? I mean, is that did it have anything to do with it? No, I, mean, I don't think so. I mean, I think it's just one of those days. Um, I, I I train in the offseason for, for days like this where um, it is high or something like that. So, um, no, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. It just, um, they, they put some good swings on balls, and it just didn't, it just didn't go away. Were you happy with the location on that pitch to Altuve there? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I haven't seen the replay yet, um, so that's something that I'll look at here pretty soon. Chad, you said when you, you got out there, you just didn't have it. Did you know that in the bullpen? Did you know it, you know, when you were warming up on the mound? Is it something, you know, when did you, were you aware that you just didn't have your best stuff? Um, I, I think it's just the misses. I think, I think I know when I miss in certain locations that um, I'll probably just fight myself a little bit. Um, no, I, I felt good physically. Um, I just, just didn't execute pitch, pitches. I uh, didn't get good counts. And uh, when I did come in the zone, they, they put good swings on it. So uh, it's just something that I'll pop the video and I try to make an adjustment. And Chad, and Chad how, uh, how frustrating is that to happen when you guys had a chance to, to sweep this series in a building you guys have had a lot of bad luck in over the years uh, and a chance to complete a, a five in one road trip? Yeah, I mean, we. We were three outs away from, from a really good road trip. Um, now this kind of leaves a sour taste in our mouth for, for three days. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously not where we want to end it. Um, up, up five runs into the ninth, you should win that game 99% of the time. Uh, but they, they, they just put together some of our bats, and um, yeah, we'll just reset and get ready for Thursday. Thank you, Chad. Hey, Chad, despite that sour taste, I was speaking to Boone and he was just mentioning how there are some positive takeaways. You guys still did win out of four out of six on this road trip. Are you encouraged by the way that the offense picked up and you guys really answered that calling? Yeah, man, I, I think we're putting together really good at bats here. I mean, I'm still so, so um, yeah, credit to our offense for, for grinding out at bats, uh, really making pitchers work. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was frustrating that we did put up seven rounds today and not come away with the win. So, um, but yeah, it's very encouraging of, of how our hitters are, are swinging it right now. Chad, in that last at bat against Altuve, I mean, I know he got you earlier this year back in the Bronx as well. What was going through your mind? How were you trying to approach him in that situation? And what makes yeah, him feel yeah. tough? Yeah, I mean, I think going to that bat, I know he's going to try to be aggressive, so uh, I'm going to try to use that to, to my advantage. Um, and that was the kind of the thought process going through that last pitch. I mean, I, I was going to try to make him chase, and um, I, mean, I haven't looked at the replay, but I would assume that ball was not a strike or going to be a strike. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a good hitter. He's got me a few times, so um, yeah, he, he, he definitely put, put a good swing on it. Final question for Randy Miller. Chad, you guys are at the break eight back of Boston. I think there's five or six teams ahead of you in the wild card. You have Boston eight out of ten coming out of the break. Uh, I know it's still July, but if you look at the, that ten game stretch, is maybe like a, almost like a do or die for you guys to accomplish your goals this season. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I don't think as a team you can look, you can sit and say you're eight games back or whatever. I think you just got to try to take it day to day, um, try to play your best baseball that day. Because if you look too too much into the future and worry about who's ahead of you, who's behind you. I, I think it can be pretty exhausting. So you just, you know, I think it's going to be a football part. Take, take it one day at a time and, and just go from there. That is a crucial stretch show for you guys, right? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I, mean, I think anytime you're playing, a, whether it's Boston or Toronto or Tampa, I don't think, I don't think it matters. I think, um, those are all going to be big games within the division. So, um, so you also you've got to take this very serious and, and try to play good baseball. Well, in listening to both Chad Green and Aaron Boone, the absence of Aroldis Chapman or not wanting to get him in in those type situations absolutely has a correlation to this loss because, as Boone said, it became a safe situation after Herman gave up a couple hits. That would normally be a spot for Chapman.
Yeah, there, there's a lot going on listening to both of the guys. And the one thing I want to say is Chad Green has had an amazing first half and probably should be going to the All-Star game. But to your point, when Chapman went down, he's not the closer anymore. And Chad Green has been pitching important innings all year. He pitched even more important innings. So the, the intensity level, the adrenaline, it takes a little more out of you. And, and he's not going to mention it that he's fatigued and he was tired. But there was no doubt in my mind that he didn't have a whole lot today, which he acknowledged. But relievers, when the phone rings in the bullpen and they get going, in their mind, they're always saying, I'm going to find a way to get these outs. When I jog from the bullpen to that mound, I'll find a way to get it done. I think Aaron Boone needed to realize that he didn't have a whole lot. Aaron said, I thought Chad Green rallied in the middle of the inning. I, I didn't see that. I saw one good fastball that he located that had some life on it. Everything else looked like it was a struggle. 